All right, this is Robbie with Believe and Run, and I'm here with Brent James, Senior Product Manager from Tracksmith, who just debuted their newest, not newest, their first shoe ever. First. The, yeah, yep. the Elliott Runner. Uh, I think we want to get into this a little bit, talk about what the shoe is all about, because I think there's a, a lot of mystery around the shoe maybe, just being it the first thing from Tracksmith. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about how you brought that kind of premium mentality to a shoe and what went into this to make it. Yeah, so for us it all it always starts with kind of the sensation, the experience we want to deliver with a product. And in this case, we, you've all heard about it, the, the pine needle sensation is what we were, we were trying to achieve here. So. We did that by creating two components of the shoe. One is the insole or footbed inside the shoe, which Robbie is I got it. trying to trying get out it. here, which is uh, about 10 mm thick. It's a softer PBAX foam, which gives you kind of that soft pine needle-like sensation when you step into the shoe. And then the midsole itself is also made of a PBAX material that's a little bit firmer, made to give you that snap back and your return. Yeah, I mean, 10 millimeters for an uh, insole is pretty, pretty tall, right? Yeah, it's about three times what an average okay. sock uh, liner is, yeah. And I see we got this um, Tracksmith poetry on the bottom here. Yes, is that a little Easter egg for the, yeah, the Tracksmith I mean, stands? Yeah, we, we put a lot of effort, a lot of energy into into the sock liner itself and wanted to make sure it was premium and execution as well. So cool. a little storytelling on the bottom. And I mean, yeah. this is kind of an embroidered sock liner here as well, right? The material itself is, is similar to what the lining material is, but there is an embroidered kind of detail around the edge and an embroidered logo. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's partially aesthetically pleasing, but we also know it's it's high quality, it won't, won't rub off. Moving on to the upper here, it seems like we have like a mesh upper with maybe some faux micro suede materials around here. The mesh is an engineered mesh, so you can see there, there are zones where it's a little bit more breathable, zones where it's a little bit more structured, kind of designed around where you need those aspects in the shoe. And then obviously we have our signature um, sash along the side there to help with midfoot lockdown to keep you in the shoe. Obviously the Tracksmith sash is pretty important to the branding as well. So it looks like you wanted to make sure that was front and center on the shoe, right? Like I said, it's it's really about boiling down the, the components, making sure it's iconic, something that's eye-catching from, from a, a distance. And we thought the sash was a, a perfect cool. way to do that. And I like the little pull tab, the stretch uh, red straight. What do you call this even? What's that design? We call it racing tab. Racing tab. It has a bunch of different yeah. nicknames, but yeah. We got a padded tongue here that is, it's not a full gusset or what do you call this? Cause it's kind of, kind of stitched in halfway down the tongue. Yeah, so basically we call it a half booty. The tongue is attached to the lining material in the forefoot of the shoe. So it gives you a more seamless fit around your toes, around the, the front of your shoe, and also helps to keep that tongue in, in line. More P-backs in the midsole, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. The midsole is a slightly firmer, denser P-backs. Um, which gives you a bit more energy return. So still maintaining the lightweight properties of PBAX, but giving you a little bit more bounce. Right, and so this isn't like that super soft PBAX that you're gonna find, so you're talking vapor fly or something like that. That's more of what you have in here, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, and then this is more of like a slightly firmer feel, probably fairly durable, I would say. Yeah, so it increases that, that snapback kind of energy return feeling, but also it makes it more durable for your everyday everyday training. Cool. You know, when you're racing, you might use it, you know, once a, once a season, a couple times a season, for this, we want you to use it every day, so we want to keep that in mind. Okay, right on. And then a pretty nice rubber coverage on the outsole here. What do we got as far as like the weight on this shoe? So it's uh, around nine ounces for a men's nine. Okay, yep. so that's pretty decent for a daily trainer, you know, yeah. under 10 ounces. And then what, what's your expectation as far as like lifespan, everything else for this? Like I said, it's hard to kind of commit to a mileage, but usually around 400 miles is when you might start to, start to evaluate whether your shoe needs Okay. It's updating. I wanted to get in a little bit of the price point, which is like close to $200. Uh, I think I want to go into just a little bit like why that is, because I think there's, you know, some people don't realize maybe smaller company, different mm -hmm. things go into that or, um, so yeah, maybe just like touch on what went into the shoe, the development, kind of the creation, and you know, how you got to that point. Yeah, I mean, you, I think you can have that question about many of our products. What we really focus on is quality ingredients. So whether that's a merino in, in your top, like the top you're wearing, or the P-backs in this shoe, we're really looking at the top quality, the highest performing materials on the market. With that comes a quality, but also a price, and, and that's kind of what's reflected in the retail price. So this shoe's already been out, um, and I believe a black colorway is coming out today, yep. or yesterday. Yesterday, yep, when we were recording this. Mm -hmm. um, so it seems like it's been fairly well received by 
yes. or Tracksmith fans. Or yeah, so far, you know, we've got a great reception. The, sho the shoes are flying off the shelves, and we're, we're happy, nice. and we're excited for everybody's feedback. So I'm excited to get some more miles in this shoe. It definitely feels like a like a classic, just like that straightforward running shoe where you can just get some miles without thinking about it. We're excited to see possibly some more shoes sometime. We're now a footwear brand, so oh, y'all wow. stay tuned. Right. You heard it here stay first. Tuned. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave in the comments. We'll try to answer them. Uh, should have a full review of this coming soon. Thanks for coming in, Brent. Thanks, Robbie. Yep. Appreciate it.